What's up guys? I got some more bolts, some cavity back to do some testing with. These are for the 308, 125 grain. So they have that standard cavity in the back. This has the three petal mushroom. You can see those relief cuts right there. That will help it open up. And a pretty large hollow point. These are supposed to expand down to uh, 1500 feet per second. And they're advertised you could use them in a 30-30 also. They're blunt enough that you won't set off the round in front of them in a magazine. So I was shooting these with Hornady brass, and that brass was getting to the end of its life. So I did switch to some Winchester brass. So I'll show you some groups here. This was Hornady brass. This was Winchester brass. Um, so both of them pretty much right around an inch, nothing special. But then I went out and I shot this group here. That is a three-shot group, which is probably the best three-shot group I've ever shot. Um, best part about it is I don't remember what brass I was using that day. Um, I think it was the Winchester. I could be wrong, but I have to do some more testing. But either way, this is a quarter-inch group. Um, I don't know if the gun was just perfectly dirty that day, perfectly clean, or if it was my shooting mechanics that was just on point. But uh, something special happened that day, so I'm hoping I can replicate that. Um, but for the meantime, I shot the ballistic shot at 100 yards, so let me show you that. Okay, so this top wound channel right here is from that 125 cavity back. Unfortunately, I hit very close to the uh, wound channels from the 90 grain um, Hammer Hunter from the 6.8 SPC. It's amazing they look pretty close in size, but when you watch the slow-mo, the 308 threw the block up in the air where the 6.8 didn't. Um, but anyway, it did shed pedals. I was pushing it you know, faster than it wanted to be pushed, so you could see one shot at the top over here, one shot to the side that way and the other one is it's right there um, so the bullet opened up right about I would say inch and a half or so pedals decided to separate at about seven inches and the base just had this little baby wound channel and stopped in the second block right at 27 inches so a quick comparison here this is the 150 grain trophy copper that federal bullet I tested a while back you know, just beautiful mushroom, and then it held that wound channel through the whole block. The cavity back, definitely bigger in the beginning, much higher impact velocity, but um, once it shed its petals, the wound channel got smaller. It's a little bit hard to tell. Um, it's a skinny little channel in there. Um, it's a lot easier to see it with your eyes than it is to get the camera to focus on it. Um, now this was at 100 yards, the impact velocity was a little bit too high for the pedals to hold on, but I did let my brother use my 308 this year, and he shot a deer at 150 yards. That deer, um, he found the bullet inside the deer, hit the deer in the chest, and the bullet ended up up in the back straps, and it had all the pedals on it, so I don't think the pedal separation is too much to worry about. Um, like I said, I was pushing these pretty fast, and I was shooting these out of my Ruger America, the 22-inch barrel. I really bought these for my AR-10 with the 18-inch barrel. So the results will be a little bit different with the shorter barrel. But anyway, let me get the uh, the base out and I'll pull these pedals out. Alright, so here is what is left of that bullet. We got the base. Let's see how much it weighs. 67.6. These pedals are pretty much identical. So let's see. 18.9 grains, 19, so pretty close. So obviously, we're missing one that flew out of the gel. So let's see. About 30 caliber there. Try to get two of these points. 0.35, so slightly wider than caliber. 3.1. That's a little bit wider than the caliber. Take a measurement of one of these pedals. 0.45. So this thing, it's almost half an inch wide. 19 grains. This would do some damage on its own. It did travel through 7 inches of gel on its own, too. So let's do a little uh, umpty dumpty here. Let's put this back together. Take a look as if the pedals didn't shed off. Alright, so this is what it would look like if the pedals didn't shed off. 
And here is the uh, the 168 cavity back that I shot into some gel. Oops. Knocked my creation over. Let's put that back together. Alright, so you can see they're pretty much identical. So it keeps the pedals. It will get nice wide expansion. Um, overall, pretty impressed. Next, I'm going to stretch this out to 300 yards. And I'm going to shoot the 168 at 300 yards also. And we'll see how they perform. Until next time, guys, like always, please like and subscribe.